In this video, we're going to talk about building software and building web applications with OpenAI using their API. How much does it cost? What can you do with it? Just really going into this framework. So first off, let me go ahead and show you some examples of what you can build with this API. So first is OpenAI is behind ChatGPT and therefore they do offer some GPT-3 models that you can use to create a chatbot similar to ChatGPT. So I've created one here for Starmorph. And this model is a little different than ChatGPT. It does have access to the internet, um, but I believe it's also only up until 2021 as of now. So we can go ahead and I can say, I can ask any questions and it can, it can reference the internet. So let's say, what are the top 10 endangered species in North America? And sometimes it actually gives a source. So there we go. According to the World Wildlife Fund, these are the top 10 species. So anyway, we have a pretty general purpose chatbot here. We're going to jump into the code later. And we could also specialize this. So if you need a specific chatbot for customer service, or you need one that writes code, or you need one that has you know wildlife advice, that's something you can specialize in the code to create your chatbot for your business. So that's the first tool. The second tool that we'll go into a little more is a more specific instance of using GPT-3. And this is created from a Vercel template uh, using the OpenAI API. And this tool right here allows you to use GPT-3 to create a Twitter bio. So before I just go through this tool and show you how it works, um, I'm just gonna take a moment to say why this is a valuable thing. And the reason for that is I would say the most popular paradigm right now in new startups is creating a wrapper around GPT-3 and offering this as a service. And obviously you want to really make a quality product and you know train your own model ideally and make a unique product, not just add a simple wrapper on top of GPT-3, but it is a very common uh, starting point we're seeing for startups right now. So understanding how this works and uh, being able to build something like this is very relevant right now in the web development community. And by the way, if you do want to create any open AI services or add AI uh, tools into your business, please reach out to Starmorph. We're looking for new clients right now and we're building with these APIs and we'd love to, to chat and help you out with your project. And I'll, I'll put a link in the description to book a complimentary call with us where we can discuss your project. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just see how this, this tool works. So basically we can type in what we want our Twitter bio to be about. So let's say I am a pastel artist that paints landscapes. And then I can do professional. And we're going to send that prompt to GPT-3 using the OpenAI API. And then we immediately get bios. And it comes out immediately because we actually have a stream with the API, so we don't even have to wait for the full response to come in. Every time a word comes in, it's gonna automatically stream it. So that's why we get that great user experience of it coming in so quickly. So that's an, another example of using the OpenAI API and using GPT-3. So now let's go over to their website and look a little bit deeper into what we can do here. So this is their API introduction. Um, there's two main ways you can interface with this API. The first is using Python. So if you're doing something like Flask or Django uh, for your web application, you could use the Python interface. Myself, I'm using a JavaScript or TypeScript stack. So I'm using the Node.js library to interact with the OpenAI API. And we're gonna jump into the code and take a deeper look at that in a little bit. And then we also have these examples over here. And there's honestly so much you can do with this API. I mean. There's the, the completion. A lot of it is based around completion using GPT-3, um, but there's a lot of specific instances here. We can translate programming languages from one to another. I mean, just that in itself, there's so many products in here. I mean, yesterday I needed to translate JavaScript into TypeScript, and if this can do that well, then that in itself could be a valuable service. So there's really a lot of potential here. Uh, this is very new tooling, and a lot of these functions could be turned into a valuable service or part of a valuable service for your business. 
and they actually give um, example API request here. So this is the response that you would want to send, the payload you'd want to send over to the API in order to use this function of correcting sentences into English. So here, we'll just take a look at what that looks like. If we go into the repo for our Twitter bio, we can see here that's very similar to the example API request that we just saw on the OpenAI website where we're sending a payload over. And in this case, we're doing a text completion to generate the Twitter bio. And if we go into our other file here, this is the actual prompt that we're sending to the API. So generate two funny Twitter bios with no hashtags or generate two and you can change uh, professional or what style you want it to come out. So, you know, this variable here that's tied up to the drop down on the website is an example of how you can customize the response that you're getting from GPT-3 to be specific to whatever you need in your business. So that's a brief overview of sending a request into the API. And another question I want to go over is how much does it cost to send these uh, requests? Because when you're using the API, you do have to pay for it. Thankfully, in my experience so far, it's really very cheap to send these requests, uh, assuming you have a pretty low volume. I'm finding that it's no more than a few cents per request. I'll see if I can open up here yesterday. Just did a few development testing requests. 16 requests to the model. And that comes out to about 18 cents. So around one penny for request. And you can see here that it's one request. It depends on, I believe, how many words or characters you're sending. And it, it changes it over to this token value. And that's going to calculate how much um, for using this model you need to pay. Obviously, the different models, I'm using Text Da Vinci, so text may require a little bit less cost than an image or something with more data. Uh, but just to give you a rough idea, we're talking about cents here per, per request. So, you know, if you do have thousands of users, you can expect to rack up a, a bit of a bill um, and maybe you want to offer a premium membership or something to have unlimited API access. And then one more thing I'll just give a little teaser on is I also have been playing around with this tool, which is not using the OpenAI API, but is using a different machine learning API, which is called Replicate. And I'll go into the Replicate uh, platform a little bit more in another video, but it they post a lot of machine learning models and allow you to access those through their API. And so that's another great option for integrating AI into your web application in this year. So, and, and this, um, this app here is a image to image editor. So we can take an image, we can upload our own image, and then we can use uh, basically GT GPT-3 to make amendments to this image and it will edit it and update it. And we can go into that app in more detail in another video regarding the Replicate API. So that's a quick overview of OpenAI's API. And um, this examples repo, you know, really shows you a lot of the different specific functions you can do, as well as definitely consult the API reference for the comprehensive documentation on how to use the API. And these two websites that we looked at are examples of what you can do with GPT-3 using this API. And uh, if you have any more specific questions about how to use this in the code, or if you need help building this service, then please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help you. And I hope this video showed a little bit more about what you can do with the API. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more artificial intelligence tutorials. Thanks.